my channel. So in today's video, I am recreating my boots video that I did a couple of years ago. You guys really seem to like it, so I am redoing it. A little bit more of an updated version for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite boots that I'm wearing right now, um, my favorite styles, and also some tips and tricks on how to wear them, and maybe not how to wear them. And I know I told you this in my first video, but I hate telling people, um, you know, like do's and don'ts, like don't do this, don't do this, because it obviously is never my place or anybody else's place to tell you how you should wear something. Um, you know, that's what makes everybody unique is the way they get dressed in the morning and how they represent themselves through their personal style. So if I say something like, maybe don't do this, maybe don't do this, it is just things that I personally prefer not to do, but doesn't mean that somebody else can't do it and look amazing in it. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started and we will start with the white boot. And mine is this patent white boot something really gross <laughs> kind of it what is that i love them because they're nice and sleek they're not chunky small heel pointy toe um just like a really sleek looking boot and i am not one to go to and grab my white boots all of the time i only wear them when i have a specific outfit in mind i never just throw them on they're not my go-to's but i do like the way they make certain outfits look start out i did it with this navy dress with the contrasting white stitching and i just feel like anytime you have a pop of white and a dark colored anything a white boot is always a good idea just because it does bring out that white um and it makes it a little matchy matchy and it's kind of predictable but White boots are hard. They really are hard. I get so many questions on how to style them, and I'm like, I don't know. I just kind of roll with it when I'm about to head out the door. don't like to wear a white boot with is something that is very heavy and very wintry looking so I did pull this dress and it is a super thick knit dress from Zara and it's got this really pretty camel outline on the pockets and on the zipper and it's long so I just kind of feel like holding this up this isn't something that I would gravitate towards just because the color scheme just doesn't really flow with white um, you want something a little bit warmer when you're dealing with um, clothing items that have warmer tones like this one you might want to gear more towards a black boot or maybe a nude colored boot also look really great with denim. I think that is just kind of a no-brainer go-to. If you do have a white boot and you don't know what to wear it with, do it with a pair of blue denim, whether it be light wash or a medium wash and some sort of sweater or top, I think is a really great option when you're kind of stuck in something. and You don't know what to do. For my next boot, I wanted to show you guys a basic grab and wear with anything type of ankle boot. So I did this one from Zara. As for the do's and don'ts, I think my don't for this type of boot would be don't get something that is so wide that your ankle is swimming around in it because it does tend to cut off your leg and make you look, make your legs look um, shorter than they are. So I always go for something that is stretchy that you just slide your foot into and it almost just kind of fits like a sock boot um, but as you can tell it is a little bit edgier it's a little cooler very sleek pointy toe um, so when you are looking for that grab and go boot you want to make sure um, that maybe it doesn't have a whole lot of hardware because then you're limited you know to that color of hardware you want to make sure that it's something super sleek and nice kind of like this one
know what's happening. I can't really see. Just moved a little bit. I don't know how far I can run away from the sun, but we're gonna try to hurry up and blow through this really quickly. So that is just kind of my two cents on a basic grab and go ankle boot. Um, yeah. So my next boot is gonna be something brown, tan, camel tobacco-y color. I think just because of the color, I would definitely wear this into spring. I, I don't limit myself to different materials when the season changes. I just kind of feel like I wear what's right. If the color is appropriate, then I just go with it. For a don't with this boot, I would try to stay away from like the typical riding boot that has just been around for like 15 years. Um, I would go for something a little bit more modern like this. And if you can't do a heel, um, maybe try to find something with a smaller block heel. With this color, I love wearing white. I think an all white and then a pop of tan or camel, I think it's just really pretty. And almost not with this boot, but if you do something tan, it gives you that monochrome look. But with this, you do have the, almost consider like a pop of color. So I do think something like this is good with all white. So I did it with this white sweater dress. If it is a little warmer where you are and you can show a little bit of leg, I did it with something like this. Just kept that same sweater on and added jeans to it, just white jeans, so you could kind of see what the boot looks like with a white jean um, and how it gives you the same effect of just a basic riding boot, but it does look a little bit more modern and updated. this lace-up boot. Um, it's a little taller. It's not your typical at the ankle boot. It goes up a little further, um, which is kind of tricky because that can, depending on you know how long your legs are already, this can kind of cut you off a little bit. It does me at least. Um, I have to be careful what I wear with or it makes my legs look really short. But I picked this one and then I picked something a little bit more trendy, like this Western inspired cowboy boot. Now, I don't necessarily have any don'ts for these two boots just because they are just basic black boots and they're just you know a little different but I do have some tips for you guys. I think wearing this type of boot with something a little bit more girly like a dress I think is so fun. I love taking, I say this all the time, but I love taking girly pieces like puff sleeve dresses or floral dresses and adding something edgy you know like a lace up kind of moto boot I think is a really cool look and it's almost like very unexpected. with this I think this is so fun I like taking more boho dresses like this one I think I styled this one with these boots um, just because this is more of a boho dress it's fun it's printed and then adding a cowboy boot just kind of gives you a little bit of um, element of style add something kind of trendy to your outfit um, and sorry this dress was so wrinkled you'll see it when I sh show it but I literally just got it from ASOS and um, I just took it out of the package and I was like oh it'd be so cute with these so it's wrinkled of just your basic kind of skin tight um, over the knee boot. This is more of a wide shaft, which I think adds a little bit more element of style. And I don't know, I just think it, it gives you like a nice clean look. 
Um, I do wear my skin tight ones every now and then, just kind of depending what I'm wearing, but these are my go-to, what I grab the most when I need an over-the-knee boot. I actually styled these a few different ways. I didn't style them with jeans because I kind of feel like that is a no-brainer. Obviously, if you're wearing skinny jeans and a cute top, you can throw those on over it. There's no problem with that. But I did pair them with a pair of Bermuda shorts. Um, and you, if you hate these shorts, with so, some of you probably are like, ill. Um, you can also kind of do a skirt. So either shorts or a skirt. Um, I think it's nice to have a little bit of skin showing in between the top of your boot and the bottom of your hem. So I chose these because these are so me and I'm just obsessed with them. Then I did it with just a basic dress. I think this is good for the office. I love having a longer dress, a midi dress or a longer dress, and then having your boot kind of sticking up inside of it. You could obviously do this with a tighter shaft too, but then I almost feel like it looks like you're wearing tights with a heel built into them. So I do like something either slouchy or wide shaft for a dress like this. this is that it has buttons that go up it so I like to unbutton like the bottom three or four that way when I walk you can see a little bit of my skin showing um, over the boot so you do have uh, two different colors of black but as you can see they're very different because this is tweed and this is leather and it really gives you like a nice contrast of leather and you're wearing them together your boot can kind of get lost or you might look like you're wearing too much leather and this is actually a question I get all the time is if you can wear leather boots with faux leather leggings and you can but you can I would just prefer something suede like this so you do have that contrast of the two different colors of black right there as you can see it just breaks it up a little bit and you can kind of tell where your shoe ends and your pants begin. I have a boot that is kind of similar to the idea of this one and it is this one's sister but just more of a dressy boot. This is just a regular basic lightweight sock boot and this is my go-to for almost anything that I'm like oh I need a shoe for this what do I wear this is so good it is no fuss it is so minimal it doesn't draw attention it is just there for you when you need a good black boot um, goes with anything. You can do skinny jeans, you can do skirts, shorts, tights, because it is a sock boot, so you don't have that extra fabric hanging out around your ankle. It literally just fits like a sock. So if you don't own a boot like this, I highly recommend it. These are everywhere now. Just a basic black sock booty. Um, and if you can get a couple of colors, that'd be great too, like a tan or more of a camel color. If you could do suede, um, I have this boot in suede and leather. And I tell you what, like they've saved my life so many times when I need a good black shoe. I didn't style them in any way because I know you guys have seen me wear them a thousand times. And they literally, I just don't have anything bad to say about them. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is printed boots. And printed boots are so tricky, they really are, because everyone's eye is different. And so I kind of pulled this one as an example. This is just a, you know, emerald green faux snakeskin ankle boot. And, you know, I look at this and I would never wear it with this. I would say absolutely not. But someone might see this with their eye and say, no, I would totally wear that together. But then I see this navy polka dot and I would totally wear this with this and some of you guys might think I'm absolutely crazy so you know I don't want to tell you what print goes with what I will say when you are mixing prints 
um, whether it be a shoe to an outfit or two, like a pant and a top, you wanna make sure that one print is larger than the other print. You don't wanna mix two small prints that hardly ever work. Sometimes it does, but it usually doesn't. Um, but as for printed shoes, it really just is your preference and what your creative eye sees. The hard part about printed boots is everyone's eye sees differently and it's hard to tell somebody, you know, what print to wear with what, because it's just, it gets lost. I really hope you guys love this video. You can follow me on Instagram. I will be posting some still photos of some of these outfits and I would just love to see you over there. But before I go, I will just let you guys know that um, if you wanna sign up for the LBH magazine, we no longer take signups during the month as you probably already know, but we do have a wait list. So when signups do open at the end of the month and at the beginning of the month, you will get notified and you can sign up and receive the magazine. Um, it's basically a digital fashion magazine that you can shop the items right then and there. So for example, if I put all of these outfits in the magazine, you could literally shop it from the magazine. And it's got a really big fashion section and then we also have a lifestyle section that has beauty, um, interviews, Q and A's, and some really fun stuff. So the link will be below as well as right here. And I'm gonna go, happy Valentine's, today's Valentine's Day, so I hope you guys had a great one. And I will see you in my next video, bye.